Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you are doing great. Chat with documents or mainly PDF has been one of the main applications that people are creating using different frameworks, mainly Langchain. So if you want to have your own applications, you can go with that. But many of you just want to upload the document somewhere and then have conversation with it, right? So in this video, I will go through five different websites which are mostly used by many people where you can just upload the documents in this uh, video i'm going to take the example of pdf so you can just upload the pdf and start having the conversation with that particular pdf let's get started the first website is qvir app i have already created two different videos earlier how you can use the qvir app locally as well as how you can use it hosted ones right but there are some changes that has been made but if you want to follow along what i did in the previous videos you can go to this github link and all the instructions are being provided here the update that is being provided here is the documentation is good now as well as it supports the private models so if you want to go through each and every step there is a good documentation being provided if you scroll a little bit down there is the documentation part you can just click the documentation and you can go through all of these steps but in this video i will quickly again show you how you can use this particular app already hosted by the developers of Qubit, right? First thing first, you need to create an account. For that, you need to click this get started icon and then you need to create an account. I have already created, so I'm going to log in. So once you are logged in, the first thing you need to do is create a brain. So how it works is it can differentiate your documents from each other. Right? So you can upload as many documents as you want, but behind the scene, it is going to do the embeddings and it is going to store somewhere, right? But if you have the brain separate, then the documents will be also separated from each other. So for that, you can go to this brain icon here and by default, there will be a one already being created. You can create a new brain. So let me just give this PDF, right? So I created a new uh, brain I can do dawn and there is a PDF right and I can click this PDF to make it the one that I am going to upload right so now what you can do is this is what I I am on the screen is the upload uh, icon here on the top left right so now you can just upload anything I'm going to upload the GPT for all PDF right so let me open this so I can say upload and it is going to use the brain that I created the PDF, right? So it says file uploaded successful. I can say dismiss and now I can go to explore. If I go to explore, there is a PDF file that I just uploaded, right? Next thing is in the chat section here. Now you can have a conversation. As you can see here, I had already done two of the examples before, but now you can just ask questions here. I can just say, what is the pdf about right so if i say what is the pdf about it is thinking now meaning that it is going to use this particular thing and it is going to compare with the one we just uploaded so it says that the pdf is titled gpt for all training and assistant style chatbot with large scale data distillation from gpt 3.5 turbo and so on right so you can have as many conversation as you want here let me say that what is the training cost of this model right so if i say what is the training cost it is going to go through that particular pdf again right and then we can have the conversation so as you can see here it provided me all the information that we want so this is a really good app and it was training for github for some time and there are already almost seventeen thousand likes so yeah, you can just go through this particular Qubit app. It is constantly updating. So what I recommend you to do is always check the GitHub if you want to do it locally. The next one which I recommend is the PDF.ai. So here as it says, chat with any PDF document, right? They even have the Chrome extension and you can just click around this website to see what it is capable of doing, right? So in this also you need to create account, sign up for free and you can even try the demo before signing up for the free, right? So let me click the 
try the demo so what you can do in try the demo let me make it a little bit smaller it's quite bigger so let me make it smaller yeah so here as it is the pdf already being provided for us like bitcoin or peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system right so based on this particular pdf you can have the conversation here are the suggested questions or example questions already so i can just say give me a summary of this document right so it is going to go through this page this is quite fast actually and the good part of this is it even provides the references from where that particular piece of information is taken from here is the summary of this particular pdf which is nine pages long and there is in from page nine it took some information and it is also highlighted here as you can see here it took from references page two it took this part into account and page five it took this part and the page six also as you can see here it took this part so these four different things are taken into consideration when creating this summary this is a really good website and you can even upload this but for uploading you need to create an account so in order to just try how it can perform you can just drill this particular pdf by asking many questions as you want and if this best fits your use case, you can just sign up. I will provide the link in the description of this video. The next website is chat with any PDF. I have already created the video when this was just launched, right? So you can just follow. That was the most watched video in my channel. I will provide the link also in the description of this website and as well as the video that I created. So here compared to pdf.ai you can even drop pdf and start having conversation but it also has the paid version here it says the pricing so what is the pricing the free one has 120 pages of pdf right and 10 mb pdf 3 pdfs per day and 50 questions per day if you are good with just this one it's completely free but if you want to have more functionality as i said before 1000 questions per day 50 pdfs per day and 32 mb per pdf and 2000 pages per pdf then you can just have the plus version so it's up to you if you want to use it or not Compared to PDF.ai, I find this useful because in PDF.ai, you cannot upload the document yourself. You need to be already signed in into the system, right? But here you can just uh, drop the PDF. Let me drop the PDF again, the GPT for all. And this has quite nice interactive UI now. Before it does not have this. If you watch my previous video, it was simple UI where you can upload the document. There are different charts on the left side. And here is the answers. So this is the question as there are suggested questions. I can just say what data sets were used for this one. And let, let me just copy this and go to the question part and paste the question. So it will just answer for us. And similar to PDF.ai, it also provides the resources or references, right? So there is this one. If you click this one, it highlights from where that particular piece of information is taken from. And this is really good because you can even share the chat as it is shown here. And there is this rename the chat. You can just rename this as let me do PDF, right? So it renames the chat. You can even download or export the chat. You can reset the chat and you can delete the chat. Okay, now let's go with the chat GPT, right? So chat GPT has plugins. What I find interesting is in the plugins section, there is different plugins. So if I go to the plugins, I have already taken one ask your PDF plugin. So what you can do here is just if you have the you cannot upload the file directly here, but you can have the web reference. For example, this 2023, this GPT for all paper, I can just take the web URL and go to the chart GPT and I can just say here summarize the PDF and I can provide the link. Right. And if I do enter, what it is going to do behind the scene is first read this particular PDF. So as you can see here, without providing any information, I have enabled plugin and it says that, okay, I need to use that particular plugin, right? By the way, this is just for the chat GPT plus versions. So if you don't have chat GPT plus, then you cannot use this one. So now it is analyzing the particular PDF using the ask your PDF plugin, right? So if you just click this, it is doing something here. 
and once this is completed it, it is going to provide some information as you can see here the PDF is a technical report so now it is providing the information for us so you can go here and ask as many questions as you want and if you click this uh, icon here what I was saying before is now you can see that this is the URL but what I noticed that if you don't have the chat GPT plus version also it is actually doing this ask your PDF website right if I want to delete this particular thing that I just uploaded I need to go to this link and I can delete from there so that that actually provided me the information that without chat GPT plus versions also not in the plugins you can directly go to the website and have the conversation with the PDF so I can say delete so this is going to be deleted from the particular website and I cannot have the conversation in the chat GPT uh, UI now but now I can go to this chat uh, ask your pdf.com website right so here if you go you can just upload the document again so I will just upload this document and yeah it is going to upload and then I can ask the question it is now similar to what I explained you before with chat with PDF or PDF.ai right so here I can just say summarize so I can say summarize the PDF right so then it is going to summarize the PDF that we just uploaded as you can see here I didn't knew that the, there was this website but I was just going through the plugins and I was playing around and found that okay it is kind of referencing to the website right so yeah that's how you can use in the chat GPT plugin itself where you cannot upload but you can just summarize the PDF and you need to have this uh, wave URL but if you go to the ask your PDF then it is similar to what I just mentioned in other different websites now the last one I want to refer is the BARD see because BARD now has the capability of asking things right you can upload the images if you want but what you can do in the BARD is also you can just say summarize the PDF and you can provide the link similar to what we did in the chat GPT plus in chat GPT plus it's the paid version but this in BARD you can just have the free version right so yeah there is the summary of this particular PDF so you can even have different drafts I have created the updated video of a BARD you can just watch I have already created three different videos related to the BARD update you can watch one of those or all of those if you want it has three different drafts being provided so yeah you can just go here and ask as many questions as you want okay there you go there are five different websites where you can have the conversation with the documents and if you want to create your own application I have already created the chat with documents video using Langchain so you can refer to that also I hope you, you will get a way to create your own application or use the existing ones created by others that's all for this video I hope you find something new today if you are new around here please subscribe there are many videos in the pipeline so you might get helpful information out of it yeah thank you for watching and see you in the next video